In this video, I am going to provide you with what I believe to be the easiest way to figure a gable roof rafter. Not too difficult. But uh, before I get started, I just want to thank everybody for all of the nice comments I have been receiving um, over the past few months. And uh, I realize I make some pretty good content. Um, it's not super awesome. If I was uh, showing you how to do it, man, you know, filming myself doing it, then uh, I'd be in the top 1% uh, of all the YouTube videos, or at least in the top 99% uh, for sure. So now let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do is show you the roof rafters and the ceiling and then the walls. And then we're gonna start with a slab. And I'm just gonna throw some stuff out there to see if it makes sense on what I'm doing. And I've noticed that a lot of times people say, hey, your videos are too long. I gotcha. At least the information's in there um, for those of you who don't really understand, having a difficult time wrapping your mind around how to actually um, cut a roof rafter or how to lay it out. And uh, so to give you an idea with the building foundation, we can actually set the roof rafters on the foundation like this and it would work. So the point is to cut the roof rafters before you do any wall framing. And you could always check it like this by positioning the roof rafters, pulling them tight up against the concrete slab and again you can always have another person help you with this kind of throwing it out there and your ridge whatever the ridge thickness is going to be here we're using a 2 by 10 I believe 2 by 8 rafters and if we were to lay the rafters down something like this then you're going to get an idea of where we're going what we're going to be doing here and uh, here I'm kind of giving you an idea the the when we lay out our rafters, we're going to pull the rafters down to here. So this line right here will line up with this one. But I wanted to give you an idea of some of the problems you could run into when you're trying to figure out the roof rafters or what would be the top and what would be the bottom. So we're going to start with something like this. And then, of course, we're going to need some lines. This will be the center line of the building. We have a 20 foot wide building. The center is at 10 feet. We're going to create a 4 in 12 roof pitch. You can change this number. You can even not use the number if you don't want to. You can just lay the rafters out to the center to some measurements to um, some type of an angle that you might like on the roof rafters. But if you're going to use a 4 in 12 roof pitch, that means for every foot, the rafter is going to go up 4 inches. So no complicated roof formulas here, but you are going to need to multiply the width of the building by the um, height of each individual um, increment, which on a 4 and 12 pitch roof, every foot it's going to go up 4 inches. Every 2 foot it would be up 8 inches. So when we get to the center where it's 10 foot, the length here is going to be 40 inches. So 4 and 12, 40 inches. And of course, if we were to lay the rafters out here to where the seat cut, top of the seat cut, is even with the top of the wall framing, for example, but we're going to use this straight line here, then you can see that we're not at the top. And this is where it can get confusing to even professionals. A lot of times they think that they're starting at the framing plate top of the framing wall framing plates and then that measurement is going the next measurement is going to be the top of the roof ridge that's not necessarily true and i'm kind of going through a few extra steps here to help you figure that out now let's go ahead and remove the temporary ridge block there to give you an idea so the bottom measurement here from the line to here is going to be the same as the seat cut, this line here. And uh, if that doesn't make any sense, 
it should here when I take and I change the rafter locations I'm going to move it up a little bit but before I do that I just want to give you an idea of what we're working with a center line here 10 foot we got a 20 foot overall width and then 40 inches up here so either the bottom of the roof rafter can line up with this line or the top of the roof rafter can line up with this we just can't line the bottom of the roof rafter up here with the top of the roof rafter up here or vice versa so here we have the board that we're going to use to lay out our roof rafter on and we're going to line the bottom of it up here with this point and then the bottom of this up here with this point here so again the bottom of it lined up with this corner because this line here is kind of representing our wall framing height um, our wall framing plates but uh, at the same time it's just providing us with a theoretical line or a couple of lines that we would use to lay out our rafters then we will use these lines to lay out the roof rafter so we're kind of going to lay out a few lines that we're going to be using to um, lay out the roof rafter itself so you can actually just come straight up here off of this point and then go to the other side and come straight up here and then connect the dots here connect these lines and then do the same thing down here to connect the dots and this of course would be the angle of the roof if it was plumb this would be a plumb line so this would be a vertically level line once we flip these roof rafters up and started using them or, or after we cut our seat cut and the seat cut can be any length that you wish if you have a three and a half inch wide framing plate you can always make it uh, three and a half inches three inches two and a half inches or check with your local building department to see what they want or an engineer if you need more advice on that so the seat cut is going to cut out of this this is the vertically level or plumb line this is the horizontally level um, line for the building and up here we're going to need to subtract for half of the width of the ridge we're going to be using a 2 by 10 for the ridge it's going to be an inch and a half wide half of an inch and a half is three quarters of an inch we just simply um, come off of here with a three quarter inch line you know you can make a mark here mark at the top and then a mark down here and then simply draw a line across there and there you have your roof rafter you're going to cut the lines here like so and then the rafter there's no need to lay out two roof rafters take this roof rafter that you lay out cut another one exactly like it and then flip that one over and position it on the other side and if both of the roof rafters work out and you put your uh, ridge block in here then you have done a good job and I, I left this up because remember we started from this point here so not to get confusing and then we're going to have the same line at the top you can see here where the line would have came up to the top so we're a little bit lower here but the line here if we were just to draw a straight line is still going to connect at this point here put our ridge block in there and if there are any problems if you lay this out you've done all your cutting you use this formula and you have a couple of gaps maybe um, you know maybe the the cuts aren't real tight then you can always adjust for that grab your roof rafter um, make some marks and then um, cut another pattern and and to see if that works and once you have a pattern mark it as a pattern just write the word pattern on it roof rafter pattern and then after you do this you're happy with everything you can always um, start framing but you're not going to be able to frame the building and then do this I'm not saying you can't do it just not going to be as easy so use this method to figure out the roof rafters after the slab is poured or you're working on your um, raised floor foundation 
um, snap a few lines across here and uh, and hope for the best so that's about it for this video if you liked it if this uh, actually made sense um, feel free to let us know in the comment area hit the thumbs up button and uh, if you do have any questions something in here that doesn't make any sense or better yet if you have a better method send me a link to a video or um, a web page I'd be glad to take a look at it and then of course I'll change the title to the second best um, method or easiest method to lay out some roof rafters without a lot of difficult math formulation formulas um, to calculate.